Saints Row 2 is a great game, even when you consider it released in 2008. If Saints Row 2 was a person, it would be 15 years old, meaning you could legally lay with it. In Costa Rica. This game is so disrespectful to everything in the best kind of ways. You'll be streaking through the streets, attending seedy cemetery parties, torching civilians, performing insurance fraud, looking drippy, driving people around while they make sweet consensual love in your car while the paparazzi try and videotape it. The list just goes on forever. For example, in one of the first missions, you have to enter a homeless person sanctuary, destroy their little shanty huts, and then kill them all. The game doesn't even call them homeless people, it just says bums. It's not all jokes though, Saints Row 2 is a great game. I feel the newer entries to the franchise have really fogged up just how good the first few were. There are four main gangs in the city, and you have to defeat them all, it's a bit like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Each crew has their own territories, and there's constant gang wars going on, it's pretty sick. I love this game so much, I even kept this concept artwork book that I got as part of the deluxe pack when I was a kid. Anyway, my mate Marto and I decided it was time to play this absolute gem again. At the end of the first game, there was this boat explosion, meaning we need full facial reconstruction surgery. I make my character look like an absolute honey. If I have to look at a low resolution booty for hours, it might as well be busty. Marto's character looks like he's one cannoli away from becoming a 2023 Calvin Klein underwear model. We're currently in prison in the infirmary and we need to escape. We kill everyone in the room, including the doctor who just did an objectively fantastic job of rebuilding our faces. I like this ass. <laughs> and I am, I am cut absolute wagon. You're a big unit. We begin the great prison escape. It becomes apparent that I made my character way too skinny, so instead of looking like a muscle mummy, she looks like an addict. Not a far gone addict, just someone who dabbles on weekends, but this is definitely a meth booty. We beat up several prison guards and get guns for the first time. Obviously, as Sigma males, we immediately begin shooting each other. Sorry, bro. Sorry, can, bro. can you revive a homie, thanks? Yeah, I can revive a homie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you pour some liquor on them. I forgot about that. When you revive a fallen homie, you pour some liquor out for them, it's poetic. The prison escape continues. I'm pretty sure I just executed the gardener. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't even armed, dude. I've always been fascinated by prisons and the hierarchy of it all. I research it a lot. I think it's because I know I'd be top dog inside. You see, at the bottom of the prison pecking order, you've got gingers, and then you've got burglars, then dealers, then serial killers, and sitting at the very top is white, nerdy, lanky Australian gamers. Marto and I decide we should take a vacation to Costa Rica. I mean, we escape the island penitentiary via a boat. They send several helicopters and watercraft after us, but the entire police department is no match for a fat guy and a junkie. And Carlos says that we need to rebuild the Saints gang and take back over the city. He's picking up trash. Yeah, it's, it's, it's um, I was gonna make a stupid pick. Make it. That's your channel. <laughs> Our first actual mission is for us to buy new clothes at Sloppy Seconds. Everything in this game is a cheesy sexual innuendo, it's like watching one of my videos. We head back over to the store, but instead of buying a new outfit, I proceed to rob the joint. This big girl opens the safe for me and then collapses harder than Arsenal's title race. Is this the smartest thing, like committing crimes in our prison jumpsuits right? still? <laughs> it's fine. Oh, what's this sign say? What's this protester saying? Stop the violence. Animals are people too! <laughs> <laughs> wow. We head to the bar to relax and see one of our dearest homies, Johnny Gat, is on death row. I love how they don't name the chief of police, they just call him chief of police. <laughs> <laughs> It's up to us to save Johnny, so we race to the courthouse. Johnny is one of those fictional characters that everyone loves. He's like Jesus or Mato. We have to hurry to save Johnny from the impending electric chair. There's absolutely no time to spare. Dude, look at this dude just sweeping <laughs> short ass shorts. Hey. <laughs> He's got the business shoes and socks. Um, we storm the courthouse, still wearing our cute little prison jumpsuits. We also have no ammo, so we're forced to use batons and pepper spray we picked up. I think pepper spray is great for helping with late night assaults in dodgy areas. I always use it when I assault people. The judge says Johnny has murdered 300 people and he's like, I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. We pick up Johnny and begin fighting our way out. <laughs> the oh, the judge! <laughs> the judge is a shoddy. Poor priest. <laughs> <laughs> you reverend. <laughs> like in a courthouse. <laughs> We escape the courthouse in a police cruiser and have to swing by for Give and Forget, which is where you pay money to have your wanted level reset. Imagine having to give the church money in order to be forgiven. That would be exactly like it is in real life. We drive back to Johnny's girlfriend's house and complete the mission. Our next cause of concern is getting out of the prison jumpsuits and putting on something sophisticated. Mato comes out of the clothing shop looking like his girlfriend wakes him up each morning with a poker flute. I go for something that accentuates my little meth booty. Now dressed exactly like gangsters from 2008, we drive back over to Johnny's girlfriend's place. 
Upon arrival, we realize we don't have enough respect to start the mission. I guess Ubisoft developers were also huge fans of Saints Row 2, which may I add is a very realistic game. <laughs> what are you doing handstands for? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> We decide to do one of the many activities in Stillwater to earn respect, which is crowd control. We have to defend celebrities from their crazy fans. This is what happens to me every time I go outside. Nah, obviously you guys are so chill whenever I do happen to meet you, it's such a relaxing interaction. The only time it got weird was when this dude kept insisting I give him my phone number. It was at a meet and greet and he just wouldn't leave without my number. It was my first ever time doing something like this and I was nervous and I just panicked and gave it to him. He never texted, never called, never checks in to see if I'm okay, not even a meme thrown my way. He just loves the chase, I guess. Why are we in a cemetery? <laughs> What's the- Why would you- Why would you come to me? This is like a weird place for a meetup. Can you come help me hose this woman? Sure, bro. She's elderly and a- <laughs> We now have enough respect to do Johnny's little mission. Now the social constructs and legal parameters that help create the world we live in today leave some people behind. These people become disenfranchised, unemployed, and often without a home. In Stillwater, they all live under this old theatre beneath the city that just so happens to be the perfect place for a new Saints Row base of operations. And you throw the homeless into oh their homes. Oh my god! <laughs> they're, trying, they're coming out and protecting their home. <laughs> Should I destroy that home, Morty? Nice. Yeah. Your house. Kill the remaining Kill the bombs. remaining bomb. Kill the remaining bomb. <laughs> Don't even call oh, them. Oh shit! Homeless. Help! <laughs> call them bombs. With their corpses. <laughs> Mission complete, and now we've got a new place to chill. It's nothing special yet, but as you advance through the game, it becomes more and more lavish. And by lavish, I mean they just put stripper poles everywhere. We need to gain more respect, so we do another activity that involves rolling through the streets in a septic tank, spraying various properties with manure. I imagine this is what they do in Paris twice a day, that place smells like shit. The enemy gangsters aren't the only threat to the Saints gang however, Mardo's two cats begin fighting in real life and I caught the whole thing in 4k. They the oh, we failed. This is the perfect time to unveil my brand new original idea never seen before on the internet, meme review. Once a month or so I will review the best memes that were shared in my discord server. Your toes look juicy. We do a little trolling. Where did you get this photo of me? He keeps getting away with it. He can't just sound like text to speech. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's art right there. Modest if he stopped putting fat asses into his thumbnails. <laughs> Zero subscribers. I am a failing YouTuber. That's my head discord mod. <laughs> when, he was, when he was younger. It's time for our next fun-filled mission back at the hideout. Johnny is busy stacking the dead bums into a big pile. My character is kicking their heads, and just in case the corpses hadn't been desecrated enough, we proceed to use their bodies as a footstool. Our new mission is finding lieutenants for the saints. Where better to find bloodthirsty gangsters than in the suburbs? When I listen to hip-hop music, I actually listen to the lyrics, and I'm pretty sure Biggie grew up in a gated community. We make our way to the one thing every man wants, but is too scared to ask their girlfriends for. Carlos is here, and he's the guy who helped us break out of prison. He says he'll accept the promotion if we steal a car for him. It's not often an NPC can hurt my feelings, but I thought breaking out of prison together was a real bonding moment. Maybe instead of giving us a meaningless task, he could have just joined the gang, become a lieutenant, made sweet adoring love to Mato and myself, and then smoked blunts and drank liquor like a normal G, but no, he wants us to repossess a hearse during an active funeral service. I swear they brainstormed and tried to be as disrespectful as possible in every situation. Like the amount of elderly people that walk the streets is alarming. But seriously, Stillwater City is at the tip of an aging population crisis. We kill a few scary gangsters for Pierce and he agrees to join. Our next prospect lieutenant is Shandi who wants us to hit jumps. If there's one thing Mato and I can do together, it's seemingly simple tasks. Pick up a fire hydrant. Please like, kill the gardener with a fire hydrant. <laughs> <laughs> She's running away very dramatically. Dude, you've got to get her. I'll give you a little bit of a hand. Son of a <laughs> <laughs> the champ's dead. Oh, she's you. Yeah, what? Wow, well, I guess. Yeah, I guess I'll kill myself. Get out of there, Shandy. This is gonna. This is gonna be the most cinematic thing we've ever done in our time together. All right, it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> We initiate all the new members, and then my character gives a speech that makes Nelson Mandela sound like an in-flight safety demonstration. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Our next mission is to rob the casino of one of our rival gangs. We drive over to Poseidon's Palace, which I highly rate as a name for a venue. 
I've never had much luck at casinos, except this one time where I drunkenly put $200 on perfect pairs and ended up making a few thousand dollars. I felt like a bloody king. I ended up buying these two Eastern European MILFs mango daiquiris all night while they showed me photos of their pets. I did try and make a move right at the end, but all I got was a kiss on the cheek. She still to this day messages me though just to check in. It's pretty strange, but I appreciate the thoughtfulness of her lovingly crafted texts. We complete the mission, and then it cuts to the Ronin gang whose casino we just raided. Don't question me, Junichi. And we're in America. Speak English. <laughs> Mato and I are actually working our way through the entire game, and it's crazy how good it still is. I just uploaded a video to my other channel where I had good fun being a paramedic. Well, hello, how are you going? Do you work here? Uh, yes, I do. All right. They're stealing chips. They, were, they just came into the shop and started stealing chips. They stole chips, you stole my heart. Yes, Everyone's a thief. If you enjoyed this video, hit like. I love you.